Officer Billy Evans. They had emerged from the political deadlock inside to reflect on a day which rocked this country, the day America's democratic stability was tested. Today, members of the House of Representatives, in a bipartisan way, pause in solemn recognition of the violent attack on the Capitol that occurred two years ago on January 6, 2021. To his right, the former Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, she was a target two years ago. Time has revealed that this was no organic protest. It was an organized insurrection driven by far-right groups encouraged by then-President Trump. From the current president, citizens' medals for those who his office believes defended democracy back then a police officer on duty that day. Albert Schmidt. A Republican election official who refused Trump's demands to overturn the election. <laughs> Stephen Sund was the chief of the Capitol Police two years ago. My, my most visceral memory on January 6th, and it was a, it was a tough, tough, dark day, uh, was 12.53 p.m. I look up and I see this crowd of hundreds coming across Garfield Circle and then another crowd coming across Peace Circle approaching our line of officers right there at the walkways. Peace Circle, breach the line. We need backup. Intelligence was a disaster. We now know that significant intelligence existed saying people were coordinating an attack on the Capitol that didn't get into the right hands. So you didn't know about it? No. But it's his projections as well as his reflections which are alarming. We're a very divided country right now. And I, I blame politicians on both sides. The rhetoric, the, the, the lack of um, uh, being able to just work with your fellow uh, politician just sets a standard that Americans are just mimicking. They need, to, they need to grow up and act like adults. And in the building behind, McCarthy. the dysfunction he talks about for all to see. <laughs> Division and deadlock, a chamber unable to choose a speaker. This has not happened for well over a century. Jeffries. The business of government stalled by just a handful of ultra-conservative Republicans, enabled by the divisive politics of Donald Trump, and now disrupting on their own. Mark Stone, Sky News in Washington.